on PHL 17. While some statues across the country are coming down, one very notable one is going up today in Philadelphia, marking the first African American to be memorialized on public land in the city. Many don't know the name or the face of Octavius Valentine Caddo. Why is it that I lived here all my life and have never heard about this man? But today, many will finally know about this remarkable man born free in 1839 in South Carolina. He moved to Philadelphia as a boy, became a prominent scholar, athlete, and military officer in the National Guard, and recruited black troops during the Civil War. And as his tombstone in Collingdale reads, Octavius Cato is a forgotten hero. We like to tell audiences that Cato and the men and women around him uh, f fought that battle to integrate the streetcars, what, 90 years before Rosa Parks crossed baseball's color line, 80 years before Jackie Robinson marched for voting rights in Philadelphia, uh, 100 years before the march in Selma and encountered many of the same kind of dangers, if not more so. Daniel Biddle and Murray Dubin are the authors of Tasting Freedom, Octavius Caddo, and the Battle for Equality in Civil War America. He was a great baseball player. He ran a great baseball team, the Pythians, uh, a championship black team in the late 1860s. After um, a lot of lobbying on his part and lobbying also by some white friends on, on baseball teams. He gets a white team to play the Pythians in 1869, uh, and it's the first black-white baseball game in America. And it, in fact, makes the front page of the New York Times. Today, when these shrouded granite pillars are uncovered at City Hall, those who gather in honor of Caddo will see a striking bronze, nearly 12-foot-high statue of him. The pillars representing upturned streetcars, which he helped push an all-white legislature to desegregate in 1867 and won. A stainless steel ballot box resting in front, recognizing his help in securing the right to vote for black men. But those major milestones for civil rights would cost lost him his life. At the age of just 32, Cato was assassinated on a racially polarizing election day, October 10th, 1871. There's story after story from that day of, of white attacks on black voters, especially attacks by police. Honoring Cato now is something many say is long overdue. He's one who had literally died for the cause. So to have somebody like that, and we're going to actually put something up in regards to him, I, I think it's phenomenal. The Octavius Cato statue will be unveiled today on the south side of City Hall at 11 o'clock. And Jason, even though there are statues of prominent African Americans up in the city, this is the first one on public land. Wow, in well, this he's, historic he place. sounds like a remarkable man.